This is the strategy section of our Informed Trades Price Action video course uh, covering basic trade strategies, including the setups and some examples from Simit Patel's trading in the Forex market. So, first of all, stop placement. Um, most price action traders buy or sell using stop orders um, with a predetermined stop loss level and a predetermined take profit or target level. The buy or sell stop sets the level that price has to reach in order for the order to be filled. Uh, the stop loss level sets the margin of loss that a trader will accept before the position is closed out. And the take profit level sets the level at which to automatically close uh, a successful position. So basically you determine risk based on where you're placing your stop and then you determine your target with regard to this risk level. Uh, a common ratio that traders aim for is 1 to 3 risk to reward, although uh, scalpers and those who trade on shorter time frames often have to accept smaller ratios. The buy or sell stop or entry level is typically set at a significant support or resistance level so that it will only be filled when price has broken definitively in the desired direction. So by, by setting these entry levels strategically, traders can ensure that they enter trades along with the momentum of the market. Alright, so now getting into setups. So probably the most basic setup is the pin bar, which if you remember is a bar candle with an open and a close within the previous bar and a wick at least three times the length of the candle body, which in this wick protrudes beyond the preceding bars, so it's a new extreme. So the long wick and short body implies that traders have made a strong attempt to push price in one direction, but price has returned to the earlier levels. Uh, so often this indicates the possibility of a reversal in trend direction. The most basic way to trade a, bin, a pin bar is to place the stop loss level at the extreme of the wick and to place your entry level above the body in a bullish scenario or below the body in a bearish scenario. Uh, the target is set relative to the risk level uh, based on the stop loss uh, and the target is also often set at a resistance level in a bullish scenario or a support level in a bearish sen scenario, basically a, a recent swing high or swing low. Another basic strategy is the inside bar, which is, if you remember, a bar or series of bars contained by the preceding or mother bar. Uh, since the shrinking candle size implies consolidation, uh, it can mean that a big move is on the way, either a strong continuation of the current trend or a reversal. Uh, because the price direction is uncertain, traders will often place orders on both sides of the inside bar so that a downward movement will trigger a sell, or, uh, but at the same time an upward movement will trigger a buy. So a liberal entry point uh, for the inside bar setup is would be setting your uh, buy stop or sell stop just beyond the high or low of the inside bar. Uh, and a more conservative entry point is setting them at the open or close of the preceding mother bar. Um, in general, inside bars are more effective to trade on larger time charts like the daily charts because there are just so many inside bars on faster charts uh, that it's harder to find a good signal. Uh, the third setup we're going to talk about is the fakey, which is a three bar pattern. Uh, first an inside bar followed by a bar that has a false break of the inside bar and then a close back within the inside bar's range. Uh, the fakie implies that there's been a brief counter trend movement that sucked in traders expecting a reversal before basically the preceding trend continued. So for a bullish fakie you would place the buy stop just above the high of the false breakout candlestick and your stop loss below the low of the false breakout. Uh, conversely, for a bearish fakie, you do the opposite. Um, you place the sell stop below the false breakout candlesticks low and the stop loss above the high of the breakout candle. 
All right, so to conclude, we have two actual orders uh, from trader Simit Patel. The first is a pin bar style order placed on the Canadian dollar Swiss franc pair on January 6th to sell at 0.85341, the black line, uh, with a stop loss level set at 0.85995. Uh, both of which are, you can see, that are historical resistance levels. Um, the take profit level is set at 0.823333. Um, and we can see that later on in the same day of Simmet's order, price reached his sell stop level at uh, 0.85341 before dropping almost exactly to the target level of 0.823333. And this second trade is an inside bar style order uh, placed on the euro British pound pair uh, on December 12th. Uh, Simit sets his sell stop order at the black line uh, 0.84026 and his stop loss at the red line about uh, 0.84750. Um, and his target is all the way down at the green line at 0.80978. Uh, we can see that after his order was placed, uh, Price did reach his sell stop order just before a major reversal in price. Uh, probably Summit would be able to take profit when Price starts to look bullish again. Uh, that's around 0.82800. Alright, this has been the strategy segment of the Price Action video course. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions or knowledge to share, please check out our learning community at informtrades.com. Thanks for watching and good luck with your trading.